need you, Robin. You gotta come save us. Now, while I'm just kind of like meandering around, um, someone on YouTube mentioned that something I can do to help with farming is plant trees. How do you, is there an easy way to locate the places in the game where you can plant trees? And how do I do that? Do I just buy seeds from like the Grand Exchange or something and then just throw them in the ground? All right, here's Robin. Father Ernie over in the swamp has the chalice in his hut, but I can't get the key off of him. Oh, it's there's a wiki that shows you where they are? You might have to engineer a crisis then. Don't go setting fire to his house, though. A fire outside his window should do the trick. Is that not highly irresponsible? Normally I'd say yes, but that swamp is so marshy there's little danger of burning his house down and rendering him homeless. There should be some nice damp wood in that swamp. Okay. Oh, okay. Taverly, Lumbridge, Ferret Castle, Falador Park. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm in Lumbridge, so maybe there's one here that I can take advantage of. But first, let's get some damp swamp wood, shall we? Chop down the swamp tree. All right, I got... Nah, I don't know if this swamp... If that's the swamp wood we're talking about. It's by the general store. Great. And then Nick Man is saying um, you have to use the, the seeds in a plant pot. Neo says you put the seeds in a special farming patch and then water them. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's put it outside his window then. So we'll just kind of stand like right here and uh, light the logs. And then let's open the door and see if he's distracted. He's very alert. Can you see that? Go away. I'm meditating. Um, ah, he can't see it. I didn't get close enough. Okay. Catherby has it in the store. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, get all the nettles. Just get so many nettles. All right, um, I'm gonna stand here then and set another fire, light the logs. I'm trying not to put it right on his house, but maybe I should. Maybe I need to be putting it closer. Um, or maybe, maybe a different window. All right, okay, fine. You want me to put it on a different Location, I can do that. Chop it down. Alright. Let's go right up to this window. Like, all the way up to it. And then just light the logs. And see if this is the spot. Let's see if this works. Alright, old man. What about the fire, dude? Do you see it? Um, Alright, fine. He doesn't like any of these fires. These don't impress him. Alright, let's try it again. It says, If I light a fire outside one of the windows of Father Ernie's house, it might distract him enough for me to be able to pick his pocket. Well, that's what we're going for. We're going to keep... Oh, Seamus doesn't want me to do that. Oh, okay. It's a specific window. All right, well, that makes sense. All right, I'm just going to put fires on all of his windows. See what he thinks about it. I got a lot of bonus fire starting experience, at least. doesn't do it. Uh, I 
All right, light it. Yeah, it says under a window. I mean, I've been, I've been hitting them. Dude, you distracted? No. Man, dude, you need to get distracted. I put fires everywhere. Oh, okay. So you gotta talk to him after you put it down? Alright, well, let's give it a shot. I'll just set his house on fire at this point. Um, I've come to repossess your house. Oh, you have to say nice chalice again? Okay, on what grounds? Um, repeated failure to make mortgage payments. What? But I don't have a mortgage. I built this house myself. Sorry, I must have got the wrong address. All the houses look the same around here. What, what house is this? This is the only one. What are you talking about? Never mind. All right, let's try this again. All right, I got fires everywhere. Go ahead. Um, nice chalice. Uh, fire, fire. Oh, no, my house that I built with my own two hands. Ha, now's my chance to pick his pocket while he's distracted. He is not distracted. I guess I missed my chance. tough. Let me try it again. Fire. Yes. Okay, there we go. We got it. Accursed kids. Light a fire. Yeah, it was the kids. That's what happened. That's right. This episode, our hero burns down a priest's house to steal his key, to then steal his chalice to finance the organized crime syndicate in Lumbridge. I am the hero. That's pretty much all we need to know. The kids in the middle of the swamp. I know, he's like, oh, it's these kids around here. See... That priest isn't all he's cracked up to be. He's he's totally ageist. You know, he's like, assumes it's the delinquent youth. No, no, no. It's a delinquent adult. Me. All right. Let's go, Darren Lightfingers. Yeah, that's right. Previously on RuneScape. The Duke's chalice turned out to belong to a priest who hated people and built a house and chose to live in the swamp rather than among fellow humans. Instead of disseminating the holy wisdom he acquired, he kept it to himself, speaking only to his chalice. Let me examine this. Very valuable to the right collector. Indeed. I bet it is. Alright, let's go tell him. I know. That's right. He doesn't deserve to have this chalice, according to Darren Lightfinger. Greetings! Um, I'd like to talk about the caper. Have you retrieved the chalice? I have. Fantastic work. I knew I had chosen wisely when I recruited you out of the only option. Um, now we can expand the guild and do some proper training around here. Your buyer is still interested, I hope. Yes, of course. Why? Well, the chalice wasn't where you said it was, nor was the owner. I just wanted to make sure you had something right in all of this. Ha! I do appreciate a sense of humor in my members. I actually um, am going to nominate myself to be the Thieves Guild leader, considering I'm the one who pulled off the heist that financed the entire thing. That's right, he couldn't afford someone else to build it. And I nearly burned it down. His life's work. But at least I got his chalice. 
it wasn't actually a joke, to be honest. To be honest, you don't want to be honest. You're a member of the illustrious Thieves Guild. Now get out there and make me proud and both of us rich. I will. Wow, that was a pretty straightforward quest there. I am the major stockholder indeed, Neo. All right, so we got a bunch of... We have access to the Thieves' Guild and the Thieves' Guild literature, and we can collect hanky points. Yes, hanky points. Um, what is this? You read the instructive document, and you gain and feel rather more adept in skullduggery and larceny. Exactly, look at this. Um, Delta, the larceny you spoke of earlier, I just got some. I got some experience in it. Read it. Read it. Yes. We are level 29 thieves. Go back in. Oh, he has a bunch of mini, mini quests. That's fun. What you got, Darren? What kind of mini quest you got for us? Ah, Dr. Incompetent, can I borrow you for a moment? I've got some work in dire need of a hero, and you're the best agent I have to take it on. I'm the only agent, and I am the best. I'll put it to you very directly. It's an expensive business getting the guild. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so let me just first observe. They really did, with the chalice money, they pimped this place out enormously. Look at this. I mean, it... I would say it quadrupled in size. This is fantastic. They also were able to really give the walls a makeover, and then with the extra coin, um, Darren Lightfinger outfitted himself an entirely new wardrobe that's a bit flashy. The price of construction work is exorbitant, and if I were to get the premises up to the size of our eventual status deserves, we shall be needing more money. I understand well. That's why I bought a very expensive toy dragon, which is quite nearly completed. Wait, what? He is trying to be like the Phoenix Gang, whom I murdered for. Allow me to explain. There's a master craftsman recently arrived in Varric, a dwarf by the name of Urist Lorik. He does clockwork and delicate crafts and works extensively in precious stones. Okay, good, good. I have commissioned him to construct a red dragon worth the entirety of our available monies out of ruby. Um, so you've commissioned him to make a ruby dragon. This sounds more like madness than adventure at the moment. I have no intention of buying it. What I need you to do, my dear fellow, is steal the dragon from his stall in Varric. You can then be very surprised and dismayed at him and demand my money returned. Then I bring you the toy and your money, and you fence the toy and double your investment? Double? Ha <laughs> ha! If I'm having a bad day? Oh my god, look at his laughter head. Whoa. Yeah, he is the kind of guy that does that. How much gas can is this dollar eighty seven going to get me? This guy is having a great time. Oh, no, no, no. First, I'm going to ruin this dwarf's life by taking all of his money and the ruby dragon. Then I'm going to get rich from it. <laughs> um, from Tiny Acorns. Okay. Um, I actually can do this one, so let's, let's do it. I, I have everything I need. All right, I'll do it. I knew I could count on you. All right. So what am I doing here? Um, I need to... No, I talked to him already. What do you want me to do? Have you been to Varric? Time is short, and the craftsman you're supposed to be ripping off, what? Um, oh, okay. All right, so I got to go to Varric, and I got to go steal from a dwarf. Good. First a priest, then a dwarf craftsman. I'm doing great. I'm doing Sarah Doman's work here.
the dwarfs at the marketplace. All right, fantastic. Let's go look. Yeah, Varric is rather big. It will be uh, kind of rough to look around. Thank you, Neo. The log doesn't work for mini quests. No, it doesn't. The log is most decidedly like, I am not going to help you. Nice, Chris. Good evening, my friend. Turkey and sausage with with egg noodles, sun-dried tomato alfredo, and artichoke hearts. Boy, that's uh, making me salivate a bit. Here he is. All right. So everyone take a good long look. We are about to make this man bankrupt. There's the ruby dragon right there. You see it? Look. Looks great. Okay, so uh, let's steal from the stall. I need a way to deal with that guard and with Ulrich before I do anything untoward. All right, let's talk to him. Are you the master craftsman working on a commission for Darren Lightfinger? That I am. What can I do for you? How's it coming along? It's very nearly done. Just needs a bath and preserving oil to protect the mechanisms and then a good polish. Is this it here on your stall? Aye, the baby red dragon there. As ordered, its scales are perfect rubies and it's capable of walking and breathing fire. Wow, what a cool clockwork mechanism he's made. I know, Delta. It's a... It sounds like a carbohydrate... Um masterpiece that I would inhale this quest requires big brain clicking okay look at this dwarf's outfit by the way this guy looks amazing I mean he's just really doing it with his waistcoat could have made it fly too given another six months or so very nice well see you later aye that you will ah Capers. Interesting. I love how when you're trying to steal from people, fashion scape indeed in this game. Like, look at this dude. He's going to follow me wherever I go with his eyes. All right, so what should I do? Um, where's the guard that we're talking about? This dude? Maybe I'll set the guard on fire and then set the dwarf on fire and then we should be okay. Talk to the guard. Greetings, citizen. Good day to you. Um, who's that dwarf over there? Eurist Lorik. He's a craftsman from some fortress or other. Wow, a dwarf fortress? Awesome. Good dwarf fortress reference. Does some, does some seriously delicate work. If the magnification on that monocle is anything to go by. Do you know what he's working on? It's a toy dragon of some sort. I've been keeping an eye on him because he's working with some seriously valuable materials, but nobody's tried anything yet. Nobody's going to either, I reckon. Must have heard I'm on the case. Uh-oh. Well, I don't want to become Dr. Pyro, Nick Man, but, you know, if that's the way of the thieves, is to use a, a fire to distract people, then that's, that's what I do. How's his dragon coming along? Hey, Neo, it's all in a day's work with the, uh, with the Thieves Guild. Looks like it's almost finished. He seems very focused. There's only two things he cares about more than his work, and he, and he's had his morning booze. Oh, no. His morning booze? What's the other thing? Oh, some sort of talisman he keeps in his back pocket. I've told him he shouldn't keep it there. It's asking to be stolen, but he won't listen. All right. Interesting, the secret ingredient. I like that. I've never used anchovy paste in my entire life, but maybe I should think about it. All right, let's go ahead and pickpocket him. Oh my god, he detected me. Oh my, he's, he's hitting me. Let's try it again. You got that right, Sir Theodore. We're going to ruin his life. All for the Thieves Guild. This is the kind of quest that makes you feel great about yourself. You steal a golden talisman out of his back pocket. Great, we got it. 
Okay. Um. Oh, I put that back, thief. Okay, so this guy's on me. Distract market guard. How do I do that? No point in doing that at this uh, point. Um, talk to him? Greetings. Good day. How's everything going today? Fairly uneventful so far. Varric's not the hotbed of crime that Ardoin is, after all. I'll let you get on with it then. Stay safe, citizen. All right. So let's talk to him about this, I guess. Interesting. A spice, a splash of lemon juice to your chicken soup to give it that acid. You got to have acid in your cooking. What are the options on the trinket? Good idea. Um, let me look. Ah, I can put it down. Okay, examine it. Um, a gem in a gold setting. All craft store is of the highest quality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you guys see that? Did you see this? Look. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. This is a dwarf fortress reference. That's what it says in dwarf fortress on your, uh, on your items that you craft. It's of the highest quality. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. So if I put this down, he'll get distracted, and then I can do something. But I don't know if he's going to get distracted, right? So let me um, put this down and see what happens. Okay. And then... that thing on the ground is it yours what thing oh thank you kindly i'd be sad if i lost that oh he'd be sad well you'll be even more sad once i steal everything you own all right um not just everything just your ruby dragon uh, let me distract the market guard it's giving you the evil eye what not again oh i didn't do it fast enough okay i gotta do it fast okay i got it i got it now i see Oh my god, he's on me. Alright, let's try this again. We're going to do it a little faster this time. Hey, Brett. Thanks for the like, my friend. Pickpocket, pickpocket. Oi, leave that alone. Pickpocket. Oh my god. This is a tough... A tough item to steal. We're gonna get it though. I like. Does this not give you any experience for thieving? Like even trying this, or do you only get it when it works? <laughs> yeah, Chris, that picture is hilarious. It was. I was just like, this bed is full of cats. There's a cat on every corner okay we got it all right so let's put this down over here and then quickly go and distract the guard after we talk to Ulrich all right okay so he's gonna go get it and let's go distract the guard it's giving you the evil eye and then now we can steal over here run you take the toy dragon from the stall. Okay. So now, um... Yeah, that's actually a good question, Chris. Do you cook your cat's food ever? Like special fish dishes for your cats or anything? I'm just checking up on my progress. Uh, you said it would be ready in a couple of days. Aye, it's nearly done. It's right here. Uh, by the gods. Look at this. He's like, by all the gods. He's like, not just not just one god. Every single one. Where's it gone? Where's it got to? It's not walked off, has it? It couldn't walk that far on one turn of the spring. I hope it turns up then. It's due very soon. Could it have been stolen? And Varric, with that guard watching like a hawk, 
He doesn't seem all that hawk-like. Now that you mention it, will you be able to finish it by the deadline? Are you serious? Not a chance. Then what will you tell Mr. Lightfinger? I don't see that I have much choice. I shall have to give him his money back. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny, Chris. Chris, you're getting a request from a Pisca cat. He would like to be another cat in your family and enjoy your delicious cooking. That's hilarious. She can hear the lid opening and she's like, give me the cheese. Since you're working for him, can you take this banker's note to him with my sincerest apologies? Oh my God. I really feel terrible about myself. I've just ruined this guy. I don't know how he could, he can afford... Um, you know, to pay for a, the rubies and this, and I've stolen it. Eh, being a thief is... I don't know. I don't like Darren Lightfinger very much. Always hand you a banker's note. The figure on it is astronomical. I should think so. I appreciate your understanding. I appreciate your cooperation. Oh my gosh. Like, everything that, that Darren Lightfinger said about redistributing the wealth and, and you know, nobility or whatever is just out the window. He had me steal from a priest, and then... Hey, Tack! Good evening, my friend. How you doing? He had me steal from a priest, and then he himself ordered a commission from a dwarf, and then had me steal the commission and get his money back. Just, just hideous. 